Codename One is an open source project that allows Java developers to build native mobile applications for all platforms. Its goal is to be magical in the sense where you write your app and it just works. The main problem with building mobile apps is that the various native platforms are so different from one another, both in their feel and even in the native programming language and requirements. For instance, iOS development requires Objective-C and a Mac, while Windows Phone development requires C Sharp and a Windows PC. To solve this, Codename One includes several different layers. It offers an API, simulator, and degree builder that abstract the various native platforms while adapting to their paradigms. Furthermore, it provides build servers that remove the need to install complex and constantly changing tool chains and remove the need to own a Mac or a Windows machine. So how does this work? First, you just install the Codename One plugin in your IDE. This allows you to build a simple application such as this Hello World application that I'm creating just now. I can now run this application in the Codename One simulator. This is all working locally on my machine and doesn't require anything other than the Codename One plugin. I can debug this application using the debugger. I can switch the device type. I can rotate the device, monitor networking, record unit tests, and do countless things with the simulator. Once I'm satisfied with the functionality of my application, I can right click the project and select to build a native app. This will send the jar, only the binary, not the source code, to the codename one build servers. For the case of iOS, we have Macs in the cloud that will translate the jar bytecode into C source code and compile it using Xcode and sign it using Xcode. Xcode is the official Apple compiler. And so it's as if you hand coded the application in C on your own. It's native in that sense. That means that Codename One will work in the future for all changes that Apple, Google, et al. choose to make since we use their native tools. Once the build is complete, you can scan the QR code for the build and install the app on your device directly or just download the binary to upload it to the store. Notice that I skimmed over a rather complex and important part of code signing, which is a big issue. There are several tutorials covering this for iOS in our website at codename1.com. You can customize many things about app, the app, including signing, the icon, etc. in the project preferences. When sending a build, you also have an option to get back the source code for the build. This isn't really important since you can write native code and integrate it directly into the project in a portable way as explained later in the course. In the next section, we will learn how to build Codename One apps by looking at very different applications that demonstrate very different aspects of Codename One development.